every part of your body, like God designed even the sexual parts of your body, they're purposeful. Like he made them for a reason. However we look at, at all of humanity and we t give them this idea starting from the time they're little that, that we're made in God's image, our bodies are beautifully created and designed by him, that is um, an antidote to objectification. Mm -hmm. And it, it doesn't even start with a talk about it being sexual objectification. Mm -hmm. It's just saying, wow, God made you and you are incredible because he made you in his image and mm -hmm. so is mom mm -hmm. and dad and everybody else mm -hmm. so it's i mean starting with genesis 1 uh not starting at genesis 3 mm -hmm. not starting with the fall and the effects yeah. of the fall and the sinfulness right which is i mean obviously something we need to address but oftentimes i think we we as christians will start with kind of the no yeah right and you're saying hey no starting point and that's a starting point for so much of uh, of how I think how we frame stuff right. is Genesis one, God's good creation, God's original design, God's uh, the way He's made human beings yeah. uh, and made them male and female, and His design for marriage right. and the family is all all good stuff. Yes, and that's how we want to frame that yeah. for our kids, you know. And that's I think that's what you're hitting on. And so, I, if parents are thinking about where do I start to talk about porn right well it's almost like well you don't start with yeah. the topic of porn right. <laughs> you're starting with this larger picture of god's good design yes and that helps you to see that this conversation begins at a really young age right. it's not like okay when they are teenagers now i got to address this right. you're actually addressing this all along yes because i think also when we when we teach our kids from the start that they are beautifully designed by God, made for a purpose, and that, again, every part of their body is made for a purpose. That even leads into a healthy view of sexuality and sex instead of it being like, um, okay, we're not going to talk about it. We're afraid of it. And then we're going to say, don't do it until you're married. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Instead, if you're saying, oh, every part of your body, like God designed even the sexual parts of your body, they're purposeful. Like he made them for a reason and, and to work a certain way and to work with, you, you know, your mate with a certain way, like that's all part of his plan. And, and I think that frames it, like you said, under the guise of God's good plan mm -hmm. and it's good. And as Christians, sometimes we forget that God's purpose for sex is good. Like it's not a bad thing. And we were afraid to talk about it and we get uncomfortable. And instead we can say, um, God's plan was good. And pornography is an example of that being taken by Satan and warped mm -hmm. and turned into something that is not good. So let's start from the beginning by showing our kids all the goodness of God's design.